art and design becomes is an insecurity for most people from business, successful businessmen to you know a young professional many many people will say oh but i don't understand art and i don't understand design but actually when you think about it every choice that we make is a translation of our intrinsic um you know appreciation for certain kinds of design or a certain kind of art Hi this is Manju Sara Rajan Hussein and his horses um was the image that I always had as a child um when you thought of a functioning artist um because even a picasso or a rembrandt these were not names that were within especially the south asian and seeing kala ghoda which uh, again has a, a sculpture that uh, he drew and it it resonated with me and i remembered it and i remember and it was hussein and anjali ella menit both of whom were in, you know these sort of stalwarts of the indian art world and those were the kind of people that one ended up reading about those were people that whose images that you had access to seeing much easily So if you think about Subodh Gupta and what he did with his um, earliest works, right? The 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 big, um, the pails and the bikes. So if you, most people who looked at say a Bajaj scooter, if you look at the everyday objects um, of of Indian middle class life that all of us all of us have seen around us, most of us. just looked at it as objects of everyday tasks and then what did subodh do he took he took these pieces he took these memories and then blew them out of proportion and created large scape imagery out of it out of uh, these everyday objects and they became symbols right so it it went from having a very practical practical uh, from being a practical object to becoming symbols of so many things symbols of everydayism symbol of task symbol of uh, you know repetition symbols of daily life so i think that capacity that art has of having a having an idea that takes something that's part of everyday life that we don't think twice about and then reimagining it into a symbol and an icon that stands for much larger ideas is really what art can do and i think so many people that came after him i mean bale shende um people like that who then took off from that same idea people who then took everyday objects and kind of raised the levels and you see that that idea has also seeped into advertising it has seeped into you know uh, graphic imagery because for an art and artist or an interior designer or an architect understanding aesthetics and marrying it with trends is fairly easy but one of the things that um, that uh, as a writer um, and an editor and and someone who's looking at this from a larger perspective one of the reasons that i started to sort of try to simplify this as as far as possible is because art and design becomes um and is an insecurity for most people i from business successful businessmen to you know a young professional many many people will say oh but i don't understand art and i don't understand design but actually when you think about it every choice that we make is a translation of our intrinsic um you know appreciation for certain kinds of design or a certain kind of art which is why i think when you look at what is what was the last design choice i made it, you know in my day it it's the clothes that we wear right so one of the first step to to an making aesthetic choices is to understand what my taste is and what my style is and that excavation process to me i think um, it begins in the wardrobe the way you create your home the choice of 
wall color that you have in your house, the kind of furniture you have in your house, whether it's old wooden furniture or whether it's a contemporary piece, each of those objects tells a story about you and the influences that you've had in your life. Um, and, you, and designing for yourself, I think designing for yourself is a really, really important process and because it allows you to really investigate who am I, what do I like, what does, what does this say about me? And that is why I think looking into your wardrobe, looking at your personal choices when it comes to what you wear, what kind of jewelry you buy, what kind of shoes you wear, um, and really thinking about that and then saying, okay, now what kind of home should I have? And what kind of furniture should be in that house um, is, a, is, a, is an interesting way of trying to understand yourself if you are designing a house for yourself. And it is important to at least, and, and we all, I mean, our first apartments, whether it's a rented apartment or the first home you buy, I feel that that imagery, that kind of taking of everyday objects and making some, making it into a significant communication strategy became much more part of our lives post that. Um, and you know, the motorcycle, the cycle, the, the, uh, the aluminium pail, all of these little objects then that I remember that work, um, which is that uh, the luggage, the, the luggage that uh, he created, the, the luggage with the suitcase, the luggage trolley with the suitcase and all of those objects, which was another big sculpture of his. So I think the, the ability that art has to take something that we, we live with every day and to, and to elevate them into symbols of our existence, I think that is the power that art really has and you see that in many key points in life right and in many key key points in our sort of art history and design history um, and it, it speaks to really the power that uh, that the power of imagination when you think about why do some colors in your mind why does a pay you know a pastel green and a and a pink, why does it marry together? Where have I seen it? Where does that color combination come into my head? Or if you, or a Ravindra Reddy, right? A blue and deep, deep, deep blue and bright gold and reds. Why, why do I think maybe I put a, a sofa and a cushion and a, a, a throw together and these colors pop up? Where have I seen it? Could I have seen it on a, on a sculpture somewhere? I mean, so these, these things lie as, you know, sort of latent ideas at the back of our minds and we never know when it comes into use, where it pops out and that's why the influence of art because I do believe that art and design are, are fundamentally, um, you know, interests that you can develop. The fonts you choose, uh, the margin, the margin spacing, every single thing every single thing that you see comes into play into something that you will create at some point you can never tell when that will be you can never predict where a color combination that you see on a canvas um, in some exhibition pops out as a choice that you make later in life right when if you go to a Sudhir Patwardhan show and you see these really saturated amazing colors of a city um, you never know when that will affect a choice that you're making um, maybe in your professional life maybe you know maybe in maybe you're a, a, a professional a management trainee working in a corporate who's been asked to do something a, a presentation and it comes up somewhere right so it's important to engage even if you don't understand it that to me is the is the fundamental point but I think it's up to the art segment itself to talk about the importance of seeing, right? And seeing without understanding, seeing without wanting to buy, seeing without any preconceived notions, to just come and see. And just to say that it's important to see is a really, um, I think it's a very key communication that needs to be there. And from the audience perspective, because it will come out in something that you put together, whether it's a space or, or, or a PPT. I'd like to thank the Kiranada Museum of Art for creating a platform where people come and talk about ideas and discuss um, creative thinking and it's so wonderful to be a part of it. So thank you so much for having me.